piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah. 
just because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. We will understand me. No one understands me. And what I'm doing is the essence of survival. Jack and The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. <coughs> what do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are going to pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Great. I have to tell my kids no food tonight. Again. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's, oh boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A, a car? 
Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This will remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. No, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await! Ugh. 
And it's gone again. Squirrel than mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Swooping in, man.
has interesting people with him. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Tomatoes and pumpkins. Been planting pumpkins for years, but I have been doing just fine. Didn't we tell you to give you a No? Here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Sure, why not? I sleep and I dream of your love. You were sent from above. Above, like a soft turtle dove, I wake to the touch of your lips, your hands on my hips, my heart does beg for lips. Are you not hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? I am. That was... otherworldly. Such a compliment! You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this, with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I can get the feeling there's no one left missing. And so the curtain falls on Lola. No. Is that? Man, I don't 
want to end up drinking my old pee. <laughs>
Yeah! <sighs> 